So today we'll be discussing aeration of pond. Aeration of pond is important. I meet a lot of fish farmers who I tell to get an aerator and they say they don't need it. Oh, they give a whole lot of excuse. Oh, I don't have light in my farm. Oh, um, I don't think I need it. Oh, I'm already using an eating pond. For whatever pond type you are using, be it a concrete pond, be it an eating pond, be it a tarpaulin pond, you need an aerator in your pond. Fishes need oxygen to grow. They need it to survive. Just like humans need oxygen, fishes also need oxygen. But some people will tell you, water already contains oxygen. Yes, no doubt about that. Water is H2O, right? H2O. Oxygen is part of it. Yes, we know. But do you know they usually deplete this oxygen? They use it up over time and it goes down. The level of oxygen in the water reduces as depending on the quantity of fish you, you put in that particular water. That is why you need an aerator to restore the oxygen. There are different types of aerator, but for today we'll be discussing this particular one that is used for bigger ponds. It's usually called an air blower, usually used for big or large size of ponds. So check out this video right now showing how this um, air blower is being used in different farms how it's been set up very easy to set up no stress at all check it out so here are air compressors used for aerating big fish ponds for your bigger fish ponds these are the compressors you can use they come in one horsepower 1.5 horsepower and two horsepower capacities so here is the blower or you call it a compressor this is how it looks like you can come closer come closer this is exactly how it looks like comes with a cable it comes in different capacities like i said and um this is it you can mount it somewhere screw it to a base where it won't be moving as you go around your business in the farm and look at this arrow here you can see this arrow this shows that this is where the hair comes out from have a closer view this one is where the hair comes out from compressors usually suck in hair from here and then the hair comes out here the hair from the atmosphere is sucked in through this hole and then the hair is distributed out from this hole so here is where you put in your pipe you put in your normal plumbing pipe your plumbers are aware of the kind of pipes you can use for this normal pipe just like i said a compressor distributes hair just like you distribute water from your source water source down to your pond the same way you want to pass hair from this compressor down to your pond so you carry you take a pipe normal plumbing pipe fix it in down then from the pipe you can connect holes smaller holes straight down into your pond where your fish is hard and then you can use a diffuser so here are samples of different farms making use of the compressor check them out so here is another farm setup making use of the compressor as you can see and then um, they have used another setting to suit their own farm so there's no hard and fast through all you need to do is channel the air into your ponds and you are good to go so here is another farm making use of it they are using a diffuser placed into the water deep down a hose has been connected from a pipe first of all from a pipe then to a hose and then just to the diffuser down there as you can see it bubbling down inside the water so i'm sure you observed something in that video something called a diffuser that was used in that video you just watched diffusers comes in different sizes different shapes what does a diffuser do that is where the air comes up from these diffusers are dropped inside your pond and that is where the air comes from you channel water using pipes into your pond the same way you channel air coming from the air compressor to your pond using whatever types of um, connection or pipes to channel the air from your compressor down to 
your pond and at the tip or the end where you have to drop it inside the pond you could use a diffuser for some farmers they don't use a diffuser at all all they do is to channel that particular pipe just straight into the pond and then it brings the bubble but if you want to use a diffuser just as seen in the video here is a diffuser and see how it's being used here you might be wondering what's that diffuser that they put inside the water where the bubble is coming from here is one this is a diffuser ring we also have what we call diffuser stones that's air stones you can use any of them but for air blowers this is more appropriate a diffuser ring which brings more bubbles to your larger ponds see how it works here so that's a diffuser there bringing out the bubbles from underneath the water so that's how it's being used thanks for watching and bye Thank you.